Welcome to Oko's channel, thanks for watching today, and let's talk about a cheese or easily defeat Lax Asia to complete in Lies of P. Now this is probably one of the hardest fights in the game. If you follow the strategy or this cheese, I think you'll have to defeat it probably first or second try. So let's go ahead and get into it, and there's a lot of setup before you go into this battle. But it's all going to begin by going to our favorite grocery trip, going to the Malum District, going to the Lobster Hotel, up the ladder, and we're going to buy the following things from the merchant, thermite, throwing cell, body fluid, saw blade, sharp pipe, as well as the shot put. And if you do not have it already, go ahead and get the uh, elemental power to put on your weapon, which is going to be the acid. Acid is very effective in this particular battle as well. But this is not the entire setup for the battle. We're also going to need to have the proper wish stone, which I recommend having the friendship one, which allows you to heal your summon. We're also going to want to have the uh, proper legion arm, which I recommend having the Aegis, which is like a backup shield. That's going to be also very handy during the battle. Go ahead and equip that as far as you can to have the maximum amount of defense, as well as like a little explosion when they hit your arm. And we also want to have the Perfection Grindstone, which allows you to basically imbue your weapon here to have a guard perfection, and that's going to come in vital for phase two of this fight. And so, there is a lot of setup. I'll put it all on the screen right here, all the items you need, the stone that you need, the um, Perfection Grindstone that you need, as well as the correct arm that you're going to need for this shield here. But um, this setup right here, very, very good for this battle. Now, as soon as you walk through the gate, you're going to want to go ahead and put the acid on your weapon. And when you put it on your weapon, your summon also gets that particular elemental power. So now you both have acid on your weapon. And of course, he's going to come try to attack you. I recommend just simply putting up your little legion arm shield here. You can block most of the attacks that he's going to come at you with and take very little damage beyond that. And also, sometimes you're going to get a little explosion, which is going to affect her health as well. But ultimately, you're going to wait for her to go after your summon. And when she goes after your summon, this is the perfect time for you to start wailing away on her. However, you're going to notice when you hit her back here, she has this giant shield on her back and no damage or very little damage happens. And you sort of get bounced back a little bit. Do not be discouraged. This is sort of the game of playing a little trick on you here. If you hit that enough, it's going to break the shield. And that's going to open up for so much attack on the front and back when she's attacking your summon. And so really, you can try to dodge some of the attack, but so many of them, I just block that Legion Arm power up and allows me to get back into the fight just a little bit faster. Now, the only attack that you're going to have to like really watch out for in Stage 1 is when she goes into this slice and fit here, is you're going to do 13 attacks right back to back all in a row. And if she catches you in that, she's going to break your shield or stagger you or just simply wail away at you and you're pretty much going to die, almost guaranteed. And so when you start seeing her going into the 13 stage attack here, just simply count them out and just simply turn around and run off in the opposite direction as fast as you possibly can. And that's the only way to really avoid this if you're not really good at dodging or blocking. And so for me personally, I just simply took the runaway strategy. And I think if you're watching this video, the runaway strategy is probably best for you as well. So when you see her launching into that, get away as fast as possible because she's very fast and will come after you very quickly. But between you and your summon here, using the acid, really going at her, attacking her from both sides, you will have stage one done pretty darn quick. And then stage two is gonna begin. And stage two, holy cow, you have to be equipped and ready for this stage as soon as it starts. When phase two begins, she's gonna fly up in the air. She becomes this like lightning goddess or whatnot. And at this point, you're going to want to get out that perfection guarding, and you're going to want to equip your weapon with that guarding perfection. At that point, just simply put your uh, normal little block up, not your legion arm shield, your normal little block, and you're going to fire these lightning balls at you, and you can reflect all the lightning balls right back at her through perfection guarding by simply just holding down the L1 button. And of course, you're going to watch about 20% of her health disappear at this point, and she's going to crash into you, simply continue holding your guard up, and it's not going to take any damage from that, because you still have perfection guarding, at least for this particular part. Occasionally at the start of the battle, she'll do this to your summon. If she does that, you really don't have to worry about anything, because your summon's taking all the damage. Just hurry up and get up there, that way you can start throwing all your uh, items out at her, or all your throwables at her, while she's on the ground, getting ready to go after the summon. Now there are two ways that this boss battle can go down. One is if she comes after you, and if she comes after you, I recommend doing literally nothing except for dodging away. She comes at you, when she gets close, dodge out of the attack. Dodge out of the next attack. Dodge out of the next attack. She comes dashing at you, dodge out of the dash. Just keep dodging, don't try to block anything, just dodge. And you're simply going to keep dodging until she finally gets distracted and goes back to your summon. When she goes to your summon, this is the golden opportunity to get out your throwables, start throwing them at her, and just simply watch the HP melt away on her little health bar down there at the bottom. If she starts coming after you again, do your little dodge away move, get out of the way until she starts going after your summon again. Do not ever engage her 
Just simply dodge and wait for her to go for your summon to throw your items at her. If she goes up in the air, starts throwing down some more lightning balls, at this point she's never going to throw out as many as she did at the beginning of stage two. So just simply run to the left in a straight line, run to the right in a straight line, and you can avoid these little lightning balls that are coming down pretty easily. And even if you get hit by one, it's not going to be a uh, death sentence here. You can still recover from it. It's not going to be as bad as it was at the start of phase two, where it could almost be a uh, instant kill on you. But in all reality, phase two, you just simply dodge if she comes after you and attack with throwables when she's going after the summon, and you will have her defeated in no time. Like I said, this is one of the hardest battles in the game, but if you go with the right equipment, you go with the right setup, and you have a right strategy in place, you can have her defeated probably first or second try. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out other videos listed up above, and as always, go out there, find a great game to play, simply have a great rest of the day.